In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a service contract form in Word. If you are running a service business where you need to send contract forms to your client to fill up, then this video is for you. In this video, I'll show you how to add fillable controls to your form. I'll show you how to add fillable forms like text fields, checkboxes, and drop downs. I'll even show you how to protect your form so that your users will only go ahead and fill up the fillable portions. So, if you want to learn how to create a service contract form in Word, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Online Office Teacher where I help you manage your data and information through online video just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's get started. Having opened Word, I go over to insert, then I click on table, I click on insert table, number of columns, I make it 3, and then number of rows, I make it 16, then I go ahead and click on OK. Next I press enter key on the keyboard to make up a space up here. Next I go ahead and select the entire table by clicking on this plus icon here. Then I go ahead and increase the height of my rows from here, I will make it 1 cm. Awesome. And then alignment, I'm going to choose align center left so that all my text will be in the middle of the cells. I don't need these border lines. My table is still selected. I go to table design. Then under borders, I drop down the arrow and I go ahead and choose no border. So you see that I don't see any lines on my table. However, I will need something to guide me as to how I can work with my table. So I select the table again then i click on borders i go over to view grid lines so with this i'll be able to see my borders and work with however when i print out you wouldn't see these borders the next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and adjust my columns to a point on this line then i drag it right here i'll go ahead and move this as well like this Next, I go ahead and enter my text starting from here. So I enter first name, colon. Down here, I enter last name. And I'm going to go ahead and make these two cells by highlighting them. Go over to layout under table tools. Then I click on merge cells. I will do the same thing in here. Perfect. So the whole of this row, I'm not going to use it, so I go ahead and merge everything. In this cell, I enter address. And I go ahead and merge these two cells. And I don't need this row, or I'm not going to use it, so I merge everything. Next is services, so I enter my services here. I'll jump this cell. In here, I go ahead and list my services. So first I have website design, logo design, web posting, and finally ongoing maintenance. And that's all my services. I'll go ahead and merge these three cells. In here I enter renewal. Then I will jump this cell. Now go ahead and ask my client a question. Next, I ask another question. I'm not going to use this rule, so I make it up. Now, in here, if my client is choosing a website design i need to know the type of website they will need so I'll ask type of website then i'll go ahead and merge these two cells awesome i don't need this row so i make it up next i go ahead and merge these two cells and i'm going to move this column right here now that I've entered all my text, the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and make my form a fillable form. So I go over to Developer tab. In your case, if you cannot see Developer tab, 
go to file then click on options then click on customize ribbon then inside this column you see developer tab so in your case it will not be checked so you go ahead and check it then you click on ok and it will appear right here so to make my form a fillable form i'm going to use the controls group so in order not to waste my time i'm not going to explain all these controls i've already made a video where i've explained all the controls i'll leave that in the description down below so first of all i'll go to first name just click inside this cell then i'll go ahead and choose plain text content control just like that so that users will be able to click in here to enter their first name i'll do the same thing in here for last name i click on plain text content control i do the same thing to address and for services i'm going to use a checkbox so i click in here and i'll go ahead and click on checkbox so next i click in here and i repeat the same thing so i'll go ahead and get all the checkboxes i'll need for my form all right i've inserted all my checkboxes and i want to align them in the middle of the cell so i just highlight all then i go over to layout and the table tools then i click on align center so this is how the checkbox will look like when it is being selected next i go to type of website i click in here this time around i'm going to give my clients the opportunity to choose from a list so i go back to developer tab then i go ahead and choose drop down list content control take note after inserting it it is still selected i click on properties then under drop down list properties i click on add in this add choice dialog box you need to enter the display name as well as the value and you don't need to bother yourself filling in both fields as soon as you start typing with the display name the value will also appear so first of all i'll enter blog that is for blog websites click on ok i'll add another corporate that is for corporate websites click on add e-commerce click on ok and finally i'll go ahead and add portfolio then i click on ok ok perfect so from here my clients can go ahead and drop down the list and choose whatever website type they need awesome finally in here i needed to add a checkbox so i'll just go ahead and click on it i'll go to layout and center it and in here i'll go ahead and enter my agreement text By clicking on the checkbox, I agree to the terms of this contract. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and increase the size of my text. So I'll just highlight everything. Then I'll go over to font size. I'll make it 14. Perfect. Next, I click up here and I'll enter. Service contract form hit enter fill this form and return to us i'll go ahead and center everything i'll increase the font size to 16 service contract form i'll go ahead and change the font to area black and i'll further increase the size 24 and i'll change it to uppercase maybe i can go ahead and add my company's logo so i'll just click in here then i click on insert pictures from this device i have my logo in here i just select it click on insert it is too big i reduce the size to this much then i click in between the logo and the text hit enter and now my form is fully created 
the next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and protect my phone so that users of this phone will not be able to change any of this text except feel what they are supposed to feel so to do that i go back to developer tab and i click on restrict editing after clicking on restrict editing i'll get the restrict editing pane and the formatting restrictions i just select this box and the editing restrictions i check this box i drop down the arrow then i choose filling in forms and the start enforcement i click on yes start enforcing protection in here you can go ahead and protect your form with a password so i just go ahead and enter my password i need to confirm it then i go ahead and click on ok so with this users of this form can only go ahead and fill up the form by clicking in here and they can just enter their name perfect so if they try to click in here it won't go through they can't click anywhere except where they are allowed to fill and for check boxes you just need to click on it to select and for the drop down they click on the arrow right here to choose from the list what they want to get i zoom out to see the entire form and it is clean and neat so that's it on how to create a service contract form in word i hope this video was helpful if you found value kindly hit the like button subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that each time i post a new video on this channel you'll be the first to know keep watching and i'll see you in the next one